In this video, we'll create a new API extract profile using the Matillion API extract profile wizard. With flexibility on auth, paging, and data structure, the API extract profile wizard allows you to test your connector before ever building an ETL job. An extract profile is an API profile that will invoke an external API and return unflattened or nested data in the form of a single column JSON structure. In this example, we'll create a new API profile using the API Extract Profile Wizard to connect to a REST API for Bitcoin price information. Then, using the API Extract component, connect to your newly created API profile to extract some data. First, we need to set up the Extract Profile that defines how an API is used to gather data. Select Manage Extract Profiles from the Project drop-down menu. Here, you can create and manage all of your extract profiles. Press the plus button to add a new extract profile. Give the profile a name that will help you identify the profile later. As this API is for Bitcoin price, we'll call this Coin Price, then click Setup to begin the wizard. Next, on the Configure Extract Profile screen, click New Endpoint to begin. On the Source Details page, we'll begin setting up the new API profile. Choose a profile name and description for your profile. We'd recommend using a name and description that relates to the REST API you are accessing. This will make managing your profiles easier. When you're done, click Next. This takes us to the Endpoint Configuration page. Here we need to enter the Endpoint URI. This will be available from the source of the API or, if you're following along with this example, in the video description. On this page of the wizard, you can input information about the API call you wish to make, including authentication, parameters, and body. After specifying the API URI, then you can enable auth if required. The type of authentication required will vary depending on the API. Select the correct type from the drop-down. For this example, no auth is required. Under Params, specify any parameters to validate the API call. To add a new parameter, click plus and then pass a parameter name, value and type and specify whether the parameter is constant or not. Then specify, if required, the body of the request. Then under the Response tab, after you've pressed Send, the API call response is displayed. When a user clicks Send, the Response tab is automatically brought into view. The following message is displayed for validated API calls. And the log shows the log of activity. Then click Next. On the Response Configuration page of the wizard, users can view the structure of the data returned from the API. Matillion ETL will attempt to identify the repeat elements from the data. However, Users can specify this themselves. This will prevent duplicate data from being stored when extracting the data. Users can also configure paging by selecting one of the supported paging schemes and providing the required parameters. The review page of the wizard is for reviewing the configuration of the new endpoint. Publishing the configuration will make the data source immediately available for your API extract profile. Now that the API profile has been set up, we can use an API extract component to extract the API data to an external storage location, such as an S3 bucket. To do this, create an orchestration job and drag an API extract component onto the canvas. You can find this under Components, Connectors, Load, or by typing API extract in the search bar. Connect this up, and whilst the API extract component is selected, go to the Properties tab, and under the Selection Profile, you can select the newly created endpoint. Then, click into the Data Source property and select the data source. In this example, Coin Price. The custom API details inputted during the setup of the API extract profile will populate the rest of the properties. Under the Location property, input the external storage location for the data extract, in this case an S3 bucket. 
When the parameters have been successfully entered, right click on the canvas and click Run Job. This will extract the API endpoint data to your external data location. For a full guide on how to create your own custom connector and transform the data in Matillion ETL, you can check out this video here. And for full documentation on the API Extract Profile Wizard, please visit the Matillion documentation site. And to keep up to date with the latest Matillion documentation videos, please subscribe to this channel.